All right, all right. Grace, mercy, and peace from him who is and was and is to come very soon, I'm certain. This is Rogue Diabetic, and welcome to the Digital Wilderness. Okay, so there's so much to talk about right now, but before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know this is not what Flat Earthers thought ever. Okay, nobody, nobody thought that we were going to sail over the edge. Okay, that's what, that's what they call a straw man argument. Nobody thought that we were going to sail over the edge. This model does, does not hold water. Okay. This model, it does not hold water. And nobody thought this. Not even like, not even just like your rank and file, reasonably uneducated sailor. Not only do the educated people not think this, but even just like your regular sailor didn't think, think this. And to the extent that like, there might be some literature that indicates that some people did, they were like, it's more like a metaphor. They didn't know what was out there. And once you got so far off into the, you know, once you got so far out to sea that you couldn't see the shore anymore, the shore of Europe, the shore of Spain, the shore of, you know, Great Britain, wherever you were sailing from. Once you got so far out, you know, I mean, like, like you're, the possibility of you getting lost at sea, of you never making it all the way across to whatever was on the other side, even if you could sail straight to India or, or there was like, there was something in between there. But they didn't know exactly where, how far it was or where it was, how much food they had to take, how much water they needed. Okay, whether they were going to be able to, like, whether there was going to be storms or whatever. I mean, that was, like, that was the edge. Okay, you were just, like, sailing off into oblivion until they, like, knew. Okay, no, nobody thought they were going to sail over an edge like this. Okay, when when the like and when when the Bible talks about edges and when the flat when, when flat earthers talk about edges, this is not the kind of edge that we're talking about, where it's like a waterfall spilling off into space. I mean, even for something like this, there would be like if the if the ocean is like a thousand feet deep or whatever, or however many miles it is deep, there must be like a wall. But it's just not like high enough to contain the water. Okay, you guys need to stop being dumb. And start looking at, start viewing some of this stuff a little bit more critically. Some of the claims that you've, you know, that people have made to you. Okay, you're not that much smarter than these people that lived four or five hundred years ago. The scholars, the, the, the top scholars of the, 14th, 15th, and 16th century were um, far smarter than the, than the scholars of today, than the, than the top, you know, elite scholars of today. And they all, re they all rejected this, that, that this was laughable and ridiculous to them. The idea that the the idea that the Earth was a, a spinning ball, and this is this isn't what they thought. So, um, so I am going to show you what people really thought, but it's going to have to be in a different video, okay? Because that's like not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about some other things. But um, the other day I saw a video by a Glober. And this is the type of straw man argument that he used. Okay, this is like, this is not, this is not what people thought. And, uh, but, I'll, but I'll go ahead, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rebut that. I'm going to rebut this idea in a different video. Okay, so instead today what I'm going to do is I, I saw this pod, I saw, I saw this podcast, um, on, it was and it was actually a mirror of a podcast. Um, I saw it on Celebrate Truth. It was by this guy named Austin Witsit. And his YouTube channel is Witsit Gets It. Okay, and he actually like gave a really like 
solid apology for, at least for the historicity of Jesus. The whole idea that Jesus was, like, in fact a real person. And also, he gave a pretty sol solid apology for the resurrection. And he, so I went over to his channel just to see what he was like, like kind of like to see some of his other content. And he's like he crushing on the flat earth stuff. Okay, talking about stuff like this. This isn't what people thought. And then just some other like basic like really like rock solid mic drop type arguments that go into like they, they go into the flat the support the idea that we're let, we're not on a we're not on a ball. And the gravity to the extent that it may exist doesn't doesn't exist the way that you think it does. So anyway, but unfortunately, unfortunately I got I I, you know, you've always got to, like, peel back the layers. And um, apparently he was, he, he was a Christian, he, or he used to profess to be a Christian, and now all of a sudden he's, like, att attacking the gospel and the deity of Christ and the Trinity, etc., 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 so the first thing the first thing that I want to do is I want to respond not just to him but to all these people. Okay, and the first the, the all these critics of of Christianity or you know more importantly um not and not the not the uh, critics of Catholicism or even Lutheranism or any sort of Protestantism Or any sort of you know organized Christianity, but I want to do is I want to like respond to this to this attack on Jesus, okay, and specifically his claim that he was that he was God. Okay, he claimed to be God. His that his audience understood him to be claiming to be God. Both his disciples and the, and, the, and, the, and the scribes and the Pharisees and the people that rejected his claim that he was God. Okay, but they understood that, his, he, the, the, that, that he was claiming to be God. So he was claiming to be God. They under, everybody understood that he was claiming to be God. The people that believed it and the people that didn't believe it. So I think that that's like, that's where we need to start. Before we even like get into like the Trinity or anything like that. Because that might be like, ultimately at the end of the day, the Trinity might be something of an abstraction. Or it might be like, or something of a like, a, splitting hairs. I mean, it's like, yeah, there's never the Trinity in the Bible. That's true. You never see the word Trinity in the Bible. Just like you never see the word rapture in the Bible. But that doesn't mean that the concept isn't valid. The idea that there's one God in three persons. And so, but, it, but in order to like, but before, we can, before we can even like look into that, we have to look, we, we have to establish with 100% certainty that Jesus claimed to be God and that the people of the day, whether they rejected or accepted that claim, understood him to be claiming to be God. So that's it for now. I love you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Click the notification bell. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I've got like 19 subscribers on YouTube and it's creeping me out. So help me get past that. And I've got like 30. I got like 36. I was at 33. I'm on a... Uh, BitChute on my BitChute channel, which is Rogue Diabetic. So I was at now I'm at 36 on BitChute and I'm at 19 on YouTube. So I need you I need you guys to help me get past that. There's like
to get me like into like not like I swear they're trolling us with with some of these numbers that you see. But anyway, the more the better. I you know the more visibility that we can get. Um, that would be that would be I would really appreciate that. So, I love you guys. Don't take the mark. If you don't know what it is, um, pray. And if you've taken it, repent. So I love you guys. I'm out.